Hi everyone. I hope you know this charger, this uh, Agros T13 chargers. Of course, you can stay believe for Agros T14 and Agros T20P. So the same charger. Today I would like to have a product uh, introduction about uh, the Agros T14 actually. So let's see what is the difference. Why we can use the same charger of Agros T13s. Why some people they still prefer these Agros T, uh, T13 chargers. So first, before that, I would like to mention about the Agros T14 chargers. What is uh, the weight? The, the mainly is the weight and the dimension. Okay, so for Agros T14, uh, you can use only with uh, one charging cable. Of course, if you say for the home electricity, still the same T30 is one charging cable for the for side you have to go with a two charging uh, cable so <coughs> for t13 you can have a uh, the same like uh, the charging time is 10 minutes for t40 the charging time is nine minutes but for most people thinking t t14 battery is a bit heavier and t13 it's much easier for you to you can bring along the way as well so it's up to you and uh, your favorite uh, time because for t t fourteen, even though one charging cable only, you uh, you will need, you will require, and uh, well, the more but more uh, charging power capacity because uh, the cable is very really strong. If you are using that that body, if you use the gen generator the twelve thousand i, that won't be a problem. Okay, so um, I would like to mention about the uh, the specification. See, because our t T14 charger is about like a 14 kg, 14 kg is is quite heavy, and the uh, temperature rate is much better. Of course, minus 20 to uh, 40 degrees Celsius. You can go with this uh, that way. Okay, so it is good. So I would like to mention the the material names because when you say the the charger, you need to understand what are the materials composed of. Because it's something error for charger is not like the battery. You can do repair yourself. So there will be the main boot, and because the main boot is inside the charger, okay. And the, the same thing like uh, uh, from the main boots, and you will have a DC to DC power module. Because first, from our AC power supply, from our AC power supply, go there, and you will have a, from AC to DC, because that DC power is high. So it's like uh, this DC power is very high. So from this DC power, you need to transfer to the uh you know the small dc powers it's like uh, so like 52 or 54 you no know, like small dc power that make it uh, the first charging that was we are calling the just 10 minutes the first charge okay so we also have the the, the battery the charging cable okay so i hope like uh, you will have uh, the, the, the the experience with the charging cable error or you might have to replace the main boot also. So we for T14 we have a cooling farm. So in a cooling farm we have a uh, also like uh, the farm. Okay. So also inside the uh, inside the, the charger you will see also in T13 we have a uh, the cooling farm inside together. That's the reason when you turn it on is it is bigger noisy. So we have a uh, windshield boot, the aperture, and the front place. Of course, this uh, this is uh, the the main place. Okay, when you open, you have to open it from here, neck, from here, you can remove the cable, you can see inside the main boat. So, um, for the repair levels, so you need to understand, mostly for the charger, you first you need to detect what is the error, and then you need to replace uh, the module or trying to see which is in error. So, before you, uh, uh, so how we can uh, make a dummy assessment? For before dummy assessment, you need to know the, the diagram okay AC as already I just mentioned from AC power supply go to the, the AC cable okay then you will have to go to the AC to DC power module from that the, the charging for T14 is like uh, 700 volts so 700 volt DC power is is really high so um, okay uh, so for 700 uh, let me see for you so it's really high so from the 700 
DC, DC voltage to you need to go because we, we use a DC to DC power right so it's from 700 to 60 volts so that we have to have uh, like uh, the power module again so DC AC to DC and DC to DC then from that way for, for this the, our main board is controls then from the main board you go in the T30 you go to the two cable for the T40 just one cable so to know what's happening you have to understand through the main boards. So from the main boards, you will have a AC cable on the back side. Also T T14 was on, on, on the upper place. So you just uh, use the AC cable, connect to the DJI system to your laptop or the remote controller. Then you can know what's happening with your remote controllers. So before that, you need to know uh, how we can do the dummy assessment and analysis. So if if the so we have uh, we can be the uh, there can be the different module before you replace the module you need to know uh, which module you need to uh, tax so it depends on the errors let's say uh, the, the if you have the product sound and a lot when uh, power power on and you can see uh, some a lot or that means like this is a main board or and if I do power on or make a lot when charging or detect that batteries cannot be charged all the things that is from the main board you have to replace the the main board okay and uh, if you say the fan you know you cannot hear the fan so the fan does not rotate of course this is a uh, uh, also the uh, main board or power module maybe main board or power module so what can be the power module the battery is charged the battery level does not increase you say it's charging, but it's not. But the battery level is not increasing. This is exactly you have to replace a power module. So, um, so uh, the other thing like uh, uh, unable to power on, make a lot, uh, detect the battery cannot charge, or the fan does not rotate. That maybe power module or main board you have to replace and try see it. Also, you are experienced will guide you the best way to spot the errors. So, what can be exactly the main boards exactly the main boards the LED does not light off or the USB cable cannot be uh, connected or um, uh, you know all the things uh, is, a, is a main board er error so if you say the USB cannot be connected means the system software or remote controller uh, cannot be connected via USB cable when you connect you don't see any information or the, you cannot add, you try to update update sometimes you can fail but you keep updating and stay filled that means you need to replace a main board and okay what about the another thing like a uh, power module so you can power on um, begin to smoke and you you hear some noise you see the sun smoke so stop charging straight away and replace your power module it's about your uh, power module okay so if you see uh, the the cable scorching so that means like if in this condition you have to make sure positive and negative cable or uh, because positive and negative uh, connection uh, can be wrong because you have to be careful when you disassemble it will not show positive or negative you just have to remember the colors okay and uh, how is uh, they are connected so um, yeah it depends on these kind of things when you do is so if some error come what you have to do you need your visual is very important you see is what the sounds or uh, what is coming from you or uh, you're trying to first thing you try to update the battery station if the update is successful that won't be a problem you try long times already and stay the field you have to do the full chart test replace parts and uh, you have to replace part and you have to see uh, is it working or not so that is like uh, you have to be carry out regarding with your the charging times okay sometimes uh, so from my experience uh, another thing is uh, the charging sometimes take uh, longer than the normal time that can be the, the elevation if the elevation is a normal not too much height and the charging like 30 minutes or things like that just replace the main boat or um, <coughs> some people might be saying yeah just replace the main boat so actually this is the issue with the power module you can try okay because that also power module on the main boat so you have to be uh, careful with these things because you cannot just say the uh, the main boat you cannot just say the power module some error just power module just some error just a main boat 
but uh, you cannot you have to uh, make sure which is uh, the error so no matter what you have t thirteen charger or t fourteen charger uh, they are quite similar of course t t t fourteen is much more accurate but like uh, if you keep uh, if you have t thirteen you can still use him or you want to you can use for t twenty p as well so if you still have more questions about the charger or um, also maybe uh, from all our video you can leave a comment and you can reach out to us we are here to assist you thank you so much i hope the, this this uh, video will help you to understand about your charger and uh, its components and how to make them assessment and repel thank you so much